This is what it used to be like in the police. Oh my god. Trying to restrain prisoners. Stop resisting! Things that would break your heart in this weather. Three triplets slamming together. Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name. Sheep is the game. And what a difference a day makes. 24 little hours. The sun is on my face. It's, it's very cold, but who cares? <laughs> it's dry. And we have... We're starting the morning. I mean, it's hard to believe. It's a lame sheep that we've dragged about three times for a sore foot. It still hasn't came right. And she's had triplets which makes her our second confirmed scanning mistake. I'm not counting the quads because I know Mr. Fox is in there now. Uh, maybe more than one fox. A, we saw three foxes walking together the other day in the estate. Three, which is a very rare thing. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're going to have to make a, a better effort to try and get some popped off, I think. But that's my second definite scan mistake. Glorious morning so far. Perfect rounds, that's how, well, apart from... Uh, this little incident with Mr Fox, I'll quickly show you this. Because I just caught Mr Fox running away with this in his mouth. And he's disappeared over there, I ran over the top to try and get a, a, a shot of him, a picture of him. Oh, now no, Meg's having a go. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure who he's lifted that off. It's fresh born, there's a girl just lambed here, she's got one at her foot. No doubt this is the other one, so we're going to have to... We have a man that does the shooting on the estate here, so I'll, I'll speak to him and see if he can get get this fox because this is the one that I thought gripped the lamb there's a triplet you remember missing and then the other lamb was rasping turned out it had been gripped I can't remember if I mentioned that on the channel we found the puncture wound so it died uh, and then there's another one oh, the other day that I thought had been snuck away as well so uh, yeah yeah Mr Fox is having too much fun in here time to deal with him let's see what else awaits us that's what I was just referring to there in case that got confusing as always Thanks for joining us on our lambing vlogs. We're going to be at it a little while this year. We've got about 1,200 sheep to lamb, if you're just new to the channel. Scotch mules first up, 600 or so of them. Then we're moving on to Cheviots and Clins later on, hopefully, as it warms up a bit. We have uh, Marissa here this morning, as always. Uh, she's the one that gets you most of the good action shots. It would not happen without her. And if you want to support the channel, guys, there's a couple of ways to do that. A lot of people ask this time of year. You can jump on the merch store, purchase a little bit of merch, Stuff's always class, the soft shells are great, although we're sold out in most sizes and we don't have this logo in, we've ordered more but there's other great items there. Let's get the rest of the rounds done. Marissa just standing this sheep up, just sitting on her bum for a second or two. She's been here for a wee while. You can tell by the by the amount of dung at her back end, and also by how wide she's got. Now she's just a single on a fairly rough, rushy field, but she's incredibly fat. You see a lot of snot at her nose there. She's been quite stressed. The sheep I'm talking about. Did you see a lot of snot at her nose there? She's been quite stressed. I it's the sheep I'm talking about. I I straight down on her front. Still a bit shaky, but she's she's fine. There we go. At least we've saved her life this morning. Mr. Fox wouldn't touch her. She's too big. What a difference a day makes. As I said before, nothing, nothing to lamb this morning. Dead lamb with the fox issue down the meadow. Do you know what of it is? I can see where the fox was from here. So all I would need is the rifle just here, maybe a thermal scope. Catch him at night from the lambing shed. So uh, this is the this is the fun one. These two little guys here and here. Oh, you're a good wee mum. These two here were the two that were in the sink yesterday. Flashback to that. 
and they're happy and, and well now. Amazing what a hot bath can do for you. This is one that I had a rotten lamb last night in the field after I finished vlogs. Uh, I, Owen and Marissa brought that one back. But she's got one cracking good lamb there. She's a prolapse girl that had the three. She's still not 100% but the lambs are good. She's been medicated. We'll look after her. She might go off her milk a bit. Oh yeah, that was the one that we caught uh, in the field. And I slipped and fell. She's a skinner job, she does like that lamb, she's very wary. This is one that the weekend of premature funny lamb, it didn't survive, so we've skinned one onto it. This is a girl that Owen had to bring back as well. Another one, she had a dead lamb. And this one, absolutely stonking good lamb. So, two, two of the same, two homebred, the same age. Apparently I thought I heard barking, but it's a seagull barking. So yeah, that's that one there. Head joke girl, I don't I think she's going off her milk. This arm's always we gave him a little top up last night on the bottle. This arm's always a wee bit peckish and, and he does stand and have a suck at her. Quite regular, look at his wee face. Hey wee lammy. So I think we'll just uh, lug mark her. She's maybe tagged already, is she? Yeah. Cull tag in there already, so she'll she'll go. This one here has just not been successful. This lamb's just going to get lifted and leave her with a single. Not because she doesn't love it. We took it out yesterday to take it away and she's shouting for it and desperate for the lamb, but her bag, the lamb's just not getting the hang of it. Mum had two very cold lambs that were in the hot box yesterday as part of the masses we had in there. If we do a wee flashback to them again. But they're absolutely great now. The hot box is just... If you're outdoor lambing, the hot box is like the most essential thing that you need. Well, it's probably not a dog. It's probably a few more essential things, but it is very, very essential. And a quick look at the Dream Team spot and Meg. Come on, you just want to come and you run about? Come on. I know what you are going to do. They'll go and try and find, find a bag of uh, dead lambs and then start pulling them out. That's what, that's what Spot likes to do. But a wee bit of protein, he deserves it. We take Meg out. I never had her out the last few, when the weather's really cold and wet and miserable. I don't take her out because then I just think she gets not good for our arthritis and being stiff. Hey! Ah. Stop it. What did you get, Jock? Is it sprays? Yes. Yeah. What's happening in there? It's that. It's Marissa and Owen. Okay, the heavens have opened, so we're going three up. We're going to go and try and get some jackets on these lambs. Off to a bad start, we've got one here without a mum already. Fairly fresh born, cannot find a mother. And then this one here looks like she's maybe pinched a lamb and then she's lamb too. Because that other one is much older. I don't see a mother anywhere for it. Try to hold this girl up here to Owen gets the jackets on. Everything's wet and slippy and horrible. Right, then we just back off. Mum will find them again. Fresh lambs absolutely everywhere today, folks. There's one just been born. I wonder if I could pop over there and get a jacket on it just now. Oh, it's horrible weather. Very quietly, Mum. Yeah, we lambs freezing cold already. It's terrible weather, Mum. Cold, wet lambs started already. Um, we'll get mum picked up. The guys are away to get the trailer. I don't want her breaking under there, but she's going to do it anyway. Okay, it won't matter too much. Oh, wee lammy's cold and miserable there, but help's coming, wee lammy. Sit up a wee bit better. Help's coming. Had a phone call from someone concerned about a neighbour who's struggling with mental health a bit. With how bad the lambing's been, and uh, it's one of the things. Like it's, you, you start to think you're the only one, and you think what happens is right. You, you're chasing your tail so much, uh, bringing in cold, hungry lambs like this. I mean, this is an hour or so wasted, more time wasted even trying to get the jackets and all the lambs. 
you, you spend all this time doing these jobs that a lamb that maybe hasn't got a sook gets missed and then you go find out and it's starved to death and you blame yourself. Now it's too windy to speak. Well done team. Got her picked up. E lammies will come back into the hot box, colostrum, and then we'll just keep going round and round and doing this all day. We will split the team up, we'll be two teams of two. Oh no, we won't because I think Lizzie's away. Oh, I might just go myself. So we're in for a shocker of an afternoon. Um, little lambs in here, bit of the hot box, and then we're going to give them some colostrum. Mum's here. I know I'm terrible at updating you guys about individual things and what happened, you know. We had a look around this morning, prolapse you. Um, it's just trying to keep track of everything. Some of them die. I think I try and tell you when they die. I mean, like, like this one died, the one that was a wee premature thing. Oh, this is one that, here's, here's one that I don't think I told you about. This is the one we caught the fox running off of one of her lambs this morning. But I saw she was still to have another. Left her to work away. She'd had one. Or she'd had two, technically. Left her to work away, and then she hung the third lamb. Very, very unusual in a triplet to hang the third lamb, but she did, and she's a wee bit sad about it, but she'll be okay. So that's where we are. Prolapse you is getting better all the time, that's her getting on her feet now a bit, just keeping her medicated and fed and watered. But yeah, miserable, miserable day. So we'll let this lamb get a heat, we'll tube it, we'll do the rounds, and we'll show you the carnage that unfolds. It's, uh, tomorrow's to be a great day, and I keep telling myself that tomorrow is to be a great day. Sheep. <laughs> please, son. Please. This is what it used to be like in the police. Oh my god. Trying to restrain prisoners. Stop resisting. You're, res you're resisting. No. <laughs> Glasses never moved. <laughs> Stand. Stand. Meh. Great wee mum for a trip, but just what you want. Great lambs, good weight to them, right. We'll take them to the uh, we'll take them to the triplet field, drop them off. Let's go. Found a triplet. Little dopey log says they're gonna do it. We'll go in there and we'll take the other three out. Cold wind picking up now, we're trying to match lambs back up that are getting mismothered. They're getting cold and wet and they're lying stiff, the mum's wandering off and leaving them. We're making it worse, we're trying to put jackets on them. I think that is her lamb, we're going to have to put a jacket on both though, because if you do one, you have a chance she rejects that one. They're both the same, we should be okay. Oh, jinx. There's a the phone going, that'll be a disaster, I can't guarantee it. Next disaster here, we need to take these back, we've got a lamb here that's not getting up and sucked and it's getting freezing cold. I just need to sort the gate here quickly. 
Lie down, lie down. You just wait there, spot. Right. It's okay, Mum. It's okay, Mum. I'm here to help. It's okay, Mum. It's okay, Mum. It's just too cold for these lambs. It's too cold and wet for these lambs. That's why we're having so many problems. Sit this wee lamb in here. You're a beautiful looking sheep, can I just say that? To go off topic slightly. Come on, Mum. Me, 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 me. Ah, oh, it's hard. It's a hard day. It's a hard day, and it's getting harder. Me, me. Oh my man, she knows the lambs there. It's heartbreaking. Stand back, Lizzie. Come back. And of course, the one we jacketed earlier has ran off without a lamb. The only good thing is it's easy because we know the other lamb has just got an orange jacket. She's ran for that. These two are going to have to come in because they're not getting up as fast as light. They're going to perish. Small lambs, small lambs, and we've not even been to the field yet. We've been nearly an hour in here now. Ah, oh, she's a good wee mum. It's just... She's just wary. Survival instinct's good to see. She's going to come round again. She walked right by it. Please, mum. I need to catch her. She's no, she's too clever. She's actually the perfect yow, isn't she? Too bare skin though, that's the bother. The lambs are too bare. You know, they'll look, they'll be amazing prime lambs. But that's a sheep for an indoor lambing system. Like, phew, what a sheep. It's not a sheep for lambing outside when it's probably three degrees wind chill and wet. It's just not going to be easy caught, this is a bother. She's so big and strong. I'll do spot. I need to up the ante here. Be here all day. On the most open, exposed bit of the field. Here, stand, walk up. We, are we? Here, here, catch it. Here, 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 here. She's gonna come for you. She's gonna come for you. Here, here, spot. Walk up. Here, here. We, there you spot. We. He's a bit fierce now because he got a doing earlier. She's get. She's gonna come through the middle there, maybe, Lizzie. No, I'll be fine. She's an absolute beast of a sheep, man. Oh, she is a unit. She is the perfect sheep. Apart from the fact her lambs are perishing in the cold, I'm not blaming her. There you spot. She's, she's designed for an indoor system, really. I think we'll need to throw a bit of Romney in these sheep. Oh, son, please. Hurry up. There's a million things today, spot. Get your pee done, son. <coughs> spot, I am freezing cold and there's a million lambs to sort. There you spot. Come on. There you. You're literally taking the piss. He's taking the piss. Spot, this isn't funny. We're, we're, this went this way is going to be a disaster, Lizzie. You feel it? It's going to be a disaster. Unbelievable, man. Spot, this is not the time. Things you don't want to see. Is a mix up set of triplets. Whole field. As if this day wasn't bad enough. A whole field. I'm just lifting. I'm just lifting one each, I think. Jackets on the rest. Lift one each. I've seen mum button one, so I don't think they're actually even happy with how they're split up here. So this is the next problem. Fresh set over there as well. They're just they're lambing hard and fast. Now, you guys, there's something. There's a mix up here somewhere. It's very unlikely that these are, these are correct. It's very unlikely. Let's just stand and watch for a bit. Mm, I think if I was to pick, I think the middle one there is it belongs to her, and I think the white faced one, if she gives it a nudge, that'll tell me. I think the wee white faced one here. Yep, no, she doesn't like that lamb. Okay. Aye, and she's just nudged that one. I've got it right. Well done, Cammy. Got to give yourself some credit when you do something bloody right. Nothing else is going well. That's your lambs, Mum. God, they're good size weighted triplets. I've had a suka, I would have said, but I cannot believe them. Do we jacket them up and we can chance it? The only real argument for doing that is that with so much growing in the shed just now, we can always come back and get them a wee bit later. So with that in mind, let's do that. I think I need to stop kidding myself on and be realistic. This lamb's getting lifted. It was the smallest of the lambs. Okay, Mum, now your three are three good big lambs, so Let's take a chance on you though, because they are three cracking even lambs. God, you're in a wet hole here. I, I, I fight the urge every day. 
her every time I say that phrase to do a Tom Pembert and say that's what she said. <laughs> that is not sheep game humour, that is crass, I apologise, I'm just, I'm losing the plot. It's been one of those days, we've got, to, we've got to make jokes, we've got to make jokes, we've got to keep... It's unbelievable actually, and I'm not even just saying this for YouTube, it's unbelievable how much it helps just speaking to this microphone as I'm wondering about doing this job. And you guys are away back there on the camera, but see while I'm talking and making me jokes and I'm not laughing, I'm not, I'm not in my own head thinking about how bad this is going to get today. Almost in the moment, I'm at, you know, I'm just listening to words. I don't even know what I'm about to say. I just say things now, I'm like, ah, that sounds like something I would have said. Oh wait, it was. <coughs> More fresh ones there, we'll get more jackets on. Living the dream. My god, what a mess we've got here. Things that would break your heart in this weather. Three triplets slamming together. Let's try and sort it out. Okay, she's she's that's definitely her too. There's two good ones here. I think those three are maybe hers. Again, I think I need to just be wise and just get them lifted, do I not? I'll just, just jack out them now and lift them later, or am I just double handling? <laughs> Coming back when it's harder to catch them. It's questions and doubts and thoughts and pet lamp pens filling up fast. Look who's just woke up. Good sleep. I know I know you want to see mum and mum's not here. Give me a second, Angus. I just need to put some jackets on some wee lammies. I really understand, son. I better take this whole lot and get on out of jackets. Hey, lamp. These arms are very full, so I'm not worried about these at all. These two belong to this girl here. You thought I had problems five minutes ago when I posted that video. Be video for Facebook. I lost what I was doing there. So that's this wee guy. Oh Jesus, a lamb just fell down to the other field. Oh God. Oh for God's sake, her other lamb's down there. Mum's lambed here at this wee banking. And I'm saying she's another one to come. Another one's down here already getting thin at. <laughs> I need to be sensible and just lift one of these lambs. There's that newly lambed jow, I've just stuck my head for two seconds, where'd she go? There she's there. Girls, this is a shambles, would some of these please leave? Oh, what a lambing. Right, we'll try and get this girl up in here and then I'll bring her lambs to her. I know girl, we'll come back and get them. She's quite a young sheep, one crop. So this is her second time lambing. Lizzie's came up down to help. Handy thing, we're right at the house here. It's just one of those, um, it's one of those days like I am one thing I have been blessed with is perspective, and I'm great at um, giving myself a slap when my head gets down. And, and folk might think, well, obviously it's so much harder doing things with a camera and trying to make videos at the same time, but it, I've said, I said, I think I just said this two minutes ago, it actually helps me massively, like massively, because I am, I'm talking to you, even though I'm not talking to you. Like, I'm not just sitting here in my own head going, Oh my god, this is a disaster. Everything's perishing in the cold. I mean, there's four of us here going flat out. But I'm talking to you guys. And I'm, I'm reading the comments in every video, like, you're doing great. Even if I'm not doing great, like, you guys still say I am. And I appreciate that. Um, and it, it does, it really does help, so thanks for the comments. We're going to pop her in here just quietly. And then I'm going to run round and get her. Run round and get her lambs. And reunite her. It's a wet one. It's a wet one. But they're right at the house, I'm thinking. One thing you take to get to get them, they're all big strong arms. Here we go. We're coming home. How are you feeling, Lizzie? I'm alright. <laughs> Positive vibes. It's raining. Hey? That's not raining. Positive vibes, folks. We have them. We have them.
Okay, so I've hung lamb here and uh, looks like it's maybe been here a while. I might have missed it last time I was out or she'd just been starting last time we were out. Might still be alive though, there's a leg with it. Let's see if we can get her nearer the fence, but she might not be that keen on that. Usually if they've been hanging a lamb for a little while, they'll be very tired. What's upsetting me is that it looks like it's been out a wee while, so I must have missed it. She wasn't actually showing signs of lambing. There you spot. Come on. <laughs> Hello, how you doing? What are you doing away over there? Uh, I think it'll be dead. Last, 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 last. So I'm pulling, I'm pulling hard up this way because I'm trying to pull away from the shoulder that's stuck. To give it as much space to get out as possible. Oh my god. Oh, one, two. My strength's almost away already. We'll just start it landing. Nah, it's gone. It's swelling. So much swelling. Okay, so that's one. I'll tell you straight. It wasn't that long since I was in this field. So it's highly likely that I've missed her. I'm not saying she was hanging when I was last here, but she was certainly lambing. I never noticed any lambing when I was last here. Combination of things, it's bloody miserable. Everybody's standing up the dike back. It affects your visibility. I mean, even there, she wasn't showing any signs of lambing. We just happened to be going past them like there's a head. At the end of the day, it is, I mean, I know you guys will say nice things in the comments, but it is my fault. It absolutely is my fault. Um, but I'm not beating myself up about it because we're all human, we all miss things, we all make mistakes. It's more a message to my other farmers that are watching. I, I know these things happen. And what a bag of milk she's got. Maybe if we've that many pet lambs now, we'll maybe get her back and we'll get uh, we'll get to onto her. Let's do that. This sheep is like, I would say she's fat, which is probably part of the problem, but I mean, she is a, I'd say she's a great sheep. One of those ones, the lamb wasn't dead. Until it died. <laughs> So, come back out to a single we were watching earlier. She's lambed, but she's grazing away there, just not giving enough love to the lamb. And it's shockingly wet. You, you won't be able to tell because the camera hides it, but you can see it running off the windscreen there. And it's shocking. So, she is just grazing away. Minimum needs a jacket, maximum needs to come in. So, we're at that time of day where, as you've seen today, caught so many sheep, lambed so many sheep, brought so many problems into the shed. And now I'm looking at a single that um, I showed you in the footage there, or you can see in the screen just now as I'm talking and she's just not paying enough attention for this weather they need to be nuzzled, they need to be encouraged onto the teat and she's a gimmer, first time lammer, she's just not doing it so we're going to have to catch her, but because she's a gimmer she'll be absolutely stone mad and it'll involve a lot of running and jumping and maybe not so much jumping, but uh, diving and catching and I'm just getting myself psyched up, but I need to get this done because we basically need to start the rounds again. It takes so long to do our rounds now because there's so many problems to go back to the shed that by the time you get to the end, this is the last field, you have to go back to the start. So let's stop talking and let's just get it done. I would just worry about this lamb if I don't deal with it now. And then you drive over to it and it probably looks a lot better than you think. Would a jacket do it? It's a single. We're going to need pens in the morning. I've got an orange jacket left, last one. Let's try that. It's me. You might have seen me on the sheep game. Oh, don't tell me. You're a Tom Pemberton fan. Great. That's all we need at this time of year. Come on. Or even worse, you like that guy YouTube from Ireland. Green tags, ah, you're an Irish fan, I get it. It's okay, Mum. It's okay, Mum, this is a big lamb. This is a big lamb, but just to be sure, I'm going to put a wee bag on him. There we go. She was a Tom Pemberton fan. Just tie it up again. Okay sheep fans, jump to darkness. We had uh, we did a Facebook, a YouTube live, had Blueface Lester to bring in, Triplet to bring in, Lamps to tube, lots of things to do. Thanks for watching us. If you enjoyed it, please do think about buying a little bit of merch, help support us, <laughs> we have a lot of bills to pay. Tomorrow's gonna be a better day. It can't be any worse.